Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a video which shows how to install the stepper motor upgrades on the next field plasma table. This table I got was one of the prototype tables, one of the first ones. It has done quite a lot of work and there's been some improvements done. In fact, each generation of tables that Rob builds, they improve them, they modify them, they change things. They're constantly developing. Uh, he sent me a kit to put on here to improve the rigidity of the set of water mountains. Anyway, we hope you enjoy the video. I've got my friend Lee coming, Lee's also on the table. And he's going to give us a hand to change the motors. It's mixed up in so we can do. I have a laugh on the way, you know I know. And so basically this is the new mount with a spring on which keeps the stepper motor pushed into mesh with a rack where the old one is actually set up on these slotted holes. So once that bolt's taken out there's a constant spring, spring tension holding the stepper motor into the rack all the time. Yeah. I tell you then. Well, honestly, I, I was, to be honest, I was, when I was doing it, I was using it for Are they? I'll get you some more next time, Julie. I'll show you, uh, your sister-in-law, she's a fucking nurse. Alright, she's alright. So then when you get them in the fucking hospital? That's what, that's where they're from? Yeah, proper fucking ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're all the fucking throw away, just disposable ones. I don't bother with these. I've got some, uh, yeah, 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 back to the clean yeah. them. So, remember the blue one is for my side. <laughs> yeah, the yellow one is the white one. Are you sure she can see it or not? Oh, she cleaned it, you know. You should see the state of it, but... I bet you hold the bottle, is it? What? Right. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. <laughs> Put the centre carriage on just so you can see some of the modifications that have been done. You can see that double rollers on there. Four outer bearings. The whole bracket is much bigger, it's thicker material, stronger. If Lee rolls it over, size comparison. Yeah, now it's all a lot more strength in here. That web's been welded in to give it even more rigidity. More adjustability on the yeah, and that's a, that's a spring loaded mount. That's a spring that keeps the tension on the stepper motor. See, this was the first generation. In fact, my plasma table was a prototype, and it slowly developed as raw modifies them, it improves them. It's an ongoing process. A clever those little cams on there. Oh, I definitely such a simple. Oh, honestly, I I've never like looked into them until I like, say I've seen yours and I was just like they could just come in so much handy. Such a such a simple idea but it works. Yeah, it works brilliant as well. You can see here on the motor how the shite for all the better word is actually stuck in the teeth. That shows the importance of keep blowing out the racks as you're using it.
and that's noticeably smoother, isn't it? Yeah. A lot smoother. More solid as well. More rigid. It's much smoother, isn't it? You're going to get like a little bit of grind because yeah. of where the old bearings have, yeah, have been going in. But once in, once these bearings bed into where they are now, it'll all there. Uh, Morrison. And see when that's not even tight, you haven't set down up yet. <coughs> so now you've got like five bearings at the front now. Yeah, it makes a big two difference. Two at the back yeah. and then two underneath. Swearing. At the minute, that bolt that Lee's got the Allen key in is holding the spring, or he's holding the motor back into that slot. So once he loosens that off, you'll see the motor go into place. That's it. So that's put that the motor pulled in now, and the tension, the spring tension is actually holding it in. In, so the rack, the pinion's held into the rack, that's it there. See it actually jump in. in there. Yeah, it's in there. That's noticeably quiet and smooth, I think. Definitely. Yeah, noticeably. Especially on that one. Yeah, beautiful that. Left these guards off just for the, the purpose of the video. If you don't want to get your fingers caught in there.
hope you enjoyed that video as much as me and Lee enjoyed making it. It was, uh, it was a good laugh, it's a good kid to work with. If you want to upgrade your table, all you got to do is get in touch with Rob and I'm sure he'll sort you out. Uh, it's really well worth doing. Anyway, thanks for watching.